right, right. There we go. There we go. There we go. My favorite California dream girl. Sassy. California. <laughs> Sassy trucker back in the building. What's up? What's up? How you been? Ah, uh, man, what's going on with you? I, I see uh I see things change. Well, first thing first, thank you for 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 being a friend of the show because I know whenever I give you, you know, whenever I reach out to you, you know what I'm saying, you you know, you 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 come on and rock out with me, man. So I I do appreciate right. that. I do appreciate that. You're welcome. So man, You're welcome. Man, I mean, what what is up? Before we even get into what you're doing right now, because I I am tripping. Like, man, I I've been I've been seeing your Instagram post and woo. So, what have you uh, been up to, and uh, what's been going on? Well, I've just been working, working, busy with hauling cars and just working. That's about it. Right. And whenever I can, I'll relax here and there. But as of right now, I've been working. Well, you, you, you are the, you, you, you are the poster child for, for, uh, getting into work and getting into play. Like literally right. you, you, you put in, you, you put in the work. But when it comes time to play, you 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 step in and show out when it comes down to play. Right, that's true. So before be, before you uh be, before you started back working, where where were where was you playing at? Um, I was just hauling, driving until I was able to find a car hauling company that I actually liked. And then once I found that spot, I didn't turn back. I've been enjoying it and loving it ever since then. Now you now, love it. now do you do you own are are you a, a lease op owner operator? What what are you? Um no, not right now. I just recently got my own authority about a month ago, but I don't have my own truck yet. So right now I'm working for a company until I go buy my own truck. So oh, okay. stay tuned for that. Coming soon. All right. So your own authority. How how did you go by how did you go by getting your own authority and what made you go and get it? Um, I went through some website that I found online and I want to go ahead and get that out the way. So I'm kinda of doing things backwards. But in the end it's all gonna fall into place. Now sassy. So yeah, I went online and I bought something. Sassy, I'm 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 lightweight tripping. I'm 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 lightweight tripping. They say <laughs> they they say you know females of your stature needs help from from other people to get established. You know, like with your own authority and all like that. And and you gotta you gotta kick out you gotta kick out this money to these uh to these trucking gurus and all like that. You you just said that you found your own authority on the internet by yourself like literally yes yes i did come, it on my own because i want to be able to say that now. i did it by myself come on but those ones saying oh i hope her this and that come so on so once you pop up with that truck they're gonna be like oh can we see you come on now sassy <laughs> get sassy you you you, yeah. you, 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 didn't, you you didn't find you you didn't find all that stuff on the internet you didn't you didn't take your time to 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 get all that good stuff done you you had to go I to it you had to go to a social media guru no if i didn't go through through a social media guru i know everyone takes that route and there's nothing wrong with that but i just wanted to do this on my own and just get myself situated at my own pace and own time now my authority is not fully active yet because I don't have insurance. Right. But once I get everything situated, all of that's gonna fall into place. That's what's up. Now having your own authority, you you are able to have other trucks leased on to you, right? Yes. Yes, you can. Okay. That's the benefit of it. Okay. 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 Have you have have you thought about have have you thought about that? Have you have you thought about uh letting somebody lease off of you? I thought about that actually, but right now I'm just 
focused on, you know, doing what I need to do now before I step into that. Mm -hmm. So I don't, you know, mess myself up along the way. I'm just doing everything at a slow pace. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. Sassy, man. So, yeah. you, so before before you got into uh, what you're doing right now, and we will talk about that in a minute, uh, you you was doing reefer or drive-in or both? I was doing reefer when I first started mm -hmm. trekking. And then I hopped into drive-in, which is better than reefer. Then I did a little bit of flatbed. Mm -hmm. And then... Once I was able to work my way up into the car hauling field, which is what I've been wanting to do ever since I started truck driving, I started doing car hauling. And the car hauling, I love it the most. All right. So, Me for too much time yeah, for no reason. Yeah, exactly. Right? I mean, you get, over to, you get over to Walmart and just get hemmed up for absolutely no reason. Like, it's fucking yeah. crazy. And plus the times. You know, the times that you got to be there. Sometimes you got to be there early in the morning late at night right. you know what i'm saying you you'll be up half the day and then you know that your 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 delivery time is at like 9 30 at night 10 o'clock at night then after you get delivered then you get another load that you gotta that that you gotta like literally start driving after that and you you That's you true. you've been up all day but you haven't you know you haven't got no rest so so yeah, that reefer that that reefer is 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 a, is a bitch. I'm just gonna have to throw it out there. All right. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, <laughs> but, uh, but starting in reefer, uh, starting in reefer, all the way up to where you at right now. How how long has it been all together that you've been driving? I've been driving for over a little over four years in county. Yep. Okay. Four years in county. All right. So over four. I years. enjoy it. So over four years, you you really getting you you really getting some good experience. I mean, driving, oh yeah, reefer, flatbed, and you you're not the one to get your you're not the one to get your to get your hands dirty. You you're not one of them one of them females right. that that's like you know, I gotta I gotta stay pretty and you know and look all look all you know in uh instagram fabulous but they don't know that you actually you actually get down and dirty though yes i stay occupied i stay doing something all right i gotta start somewhere and never settle for less that's what's up man and how and and let everybody know how how tall are you because you you short stuff I'm over there five four and a half very <laughs> tall <laughs> You ain't, you ain't tall. You you like short stuff. Well, that's average height. Yeah, that's average height. Five foot is average height. Well, you so know, five, five, I believe. To be honest with you, on your on your pictures, you, it, 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 you you do look you do look taller than you look. But you got I, I got to look at it at an angle and be like, yeah, that's yeah. She she's small. She's a small fry over there, man. So California. <laughs> so born and raised in California, right? Am I right? Right, the uh, best state. Yes, that's correct. You, you still there? <laughs> yeah, no, I'm there here sometimes, but most of the time now, I'm mostly in Florida and Texas. Okay. But I go visit California here and there when I can. Okay, because last time I think last time we talked, you was in Texas, right? Yes. All right. Texas. Yeah. So between, so between Florida. In Texas, and what's the other state? Oh, Florida, right? Florida, Florida, Florida Texas, yeah. mm -hmm. and California, okay. which is your which is your home state. My home state, Texas. Oh, your home state is Texas. Te well, what I meant by home state, that's where you was born and raised in California, though. Oh no, I was born and raised in California. Yes, right. near California, born and raised. What you meant? Where I live currently, Texas. Oh, okay. But, yeah. Well, see, I fuck with Texas. Like, you know, shout out to Texas. You know what I'm saying? Houston, San Antonio, Dallas, El Paso. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I definitely mess with Texas. Majority of my um, majority of my followers is uh, down in Texas. So sassy, man. We um, you know, we we we've been we've been internet we we've been internet dancing for a long time. You've been rocking out on Instagram for the longest. How how many how many followers you got on Instagram so far? 
I got over twenty five thousand followers now. That, and that's on Instagram. How how many subscribers you got on uh YouTube? I got a little over thirty eight thousand subscribers on YouTube. So you so you know what what the subscribers on YouTube and and the followers on on Instagram, you 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 would probably say you're somewhat modestly popular, right? Yeah, you could All say right. that a little bit, All right. a little. Now, as far <laughs> as now, as far as YouTube goes, on your on YouTube, you you mostly show you know your your trucking experience, um, you know, a little a little a little bit of a, a, a little bit of sexiness on on YouTube, but just, right. just a little bit. But you 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 more you more so uh show your trucking experience on YouTube, right? Yes. All right. Trucking and a little bit of traveling. Yeah. I travel here and there too. There you go. And then now on your Instagram is where you show your sexy your sexy side at, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. That's correct. How how do you how do you tend how do you tend to keep both of them separated and what do you say to the what do you say to, to the people that says that you know female truck drivers such as yourself you know using mm -hmm. you know using your sexiness as you know as a clutch to get views as a clutch to get subscribers as a clutch to get to get followers if you got it flaunt it Mm. I don't just how use that as a question to get my followers. I mean, if it's just there, you can't help if you look good. Mm -hmm. And so when you look good, they tend to try to say that you're not supposed to look good when driving the truck. How am I supposed to really look? Am I supposed to look crazy? Like, I don't understand. Mm -hmm. So the thing with trucking, since it's such a free job, you can pretty much do what you want and dress how you want. As long as you look decent and you deliver that load and you don't look crazy. And hopping out the truck, you know, just look at any kind of way. Now you know you you know like some some of the photos that you got on your Instagram while you in your truck, man. Like I said, that's why I asked you how tall you are because mm -hmm. <laughs> you you're the smallest <laughs> fuck behind the wheel, though, for real. You're like how yeah. how are you how you know how are you, now I know driving a car hauler uh, a car hauler truck. Um, is is more of a what? What you got? A long nose? A long nose manual? Yes. How the hell? It's harder because how the hell you can see? It's I, a lot longer. Yeah, how I can barely see. That's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> the transition is different. <laughs> a lot of more work, I would say. Definitely. How the hell you can see over the motherfucking hood? That's what I want to know. Barely, but I make it happen. You say you make it happen <laughs> for sure. All right, I make it happen. Yeah. All right, so we did talk about YouTube and we did talk about Instagram and and um, and you know how you break the two apart. Let's talk about TikTok, man. I mean, okay. Wow, I mean you um uh, you 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 found TikTok and and you found. A fucking following over there as well. How, how many how many followers you got on TikTok? You only know, got fifty three thousand followers on TikTok. I don't really post that much on TikTok. I don't really give it my all because I just use that as a stepping stone for like my YouTube and my Instagram to help to build out my following. Oh, thank you for saying that. Yeah. Thank you. I I want to add the mm -hmm. hand clap to this. Because that's what I've been saying. Like, I'm I'm not a fan of TikTok. Uh, to be honest with you, I'm really not. Even though I'm over there, I am definitely not a fan of TikTok. Because, you know, what TikTok is all about, you know, is about the TikTok challenges, the TikTok dances, the TikTok <laughs> kids, and all like that. And I see a whole lot of, I see, and since I've been on there, I've seen an explosion of female drivers that's coming out of the damn woodwork on TikTok. Like, where the fuck they been, uh, oh. Sassy? Where where have they been, man? Because like for YouTube, for YouTube and 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 for Instagram, I mean, you literally, especially for YouTube, you literally gotta you know type in like like 
new truckers, uh, female truckers, or something like that, just to just to get a handful, just to get a handful of you know truckers that's out there on TikTok. I mean, every every for everybody on my for you page is a new female truck driver. It's crazy. It's crazy. Just slide up, new driver. Slide up, new female driver. Slide up, new female driver. Who the hell are you? <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. So with 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 you gaining fifty, you know, fifty thousand uh, followers, do you feel that getting followers on TikTok is a hell of a lot easier than getting followers on Instagram and YouTube? Definitely. Oh, yes, definitely. TikTok is easy to get followers, especially. I, I feel like TikTok is easy to get followers for anybody because with TikTok, you don't have to spend a bunch of time making a 15-minute, one-hour video as opposed to YouTube where you got to edit and create that video and put time into it. TikTok is a lot easier. You can just make the video and boom, you're going to get a following quick just like that it doesn't require much time as opposed to youtube so the thing i like about tiktok is that you can make you a quick little 30 second video and be on your merry way or a quick one minute video be on your merry way and get the followers and the likes and get paid so that's why i use tiktok as a stepping stone for my youtube channel to help me get a following over there for youtube that's you know that's what i do for mine i i cross promote i i just do you know I just do my TikTok, you know, I just do my TikTok and, and I don't do the, you know, I don't do that. I, I just basically what I do is just whatever I do on my YouTube, I just take a clip from that and then just upload it to uh, upload it to TikTok or I just come on and, and, you know, just, you know, give a give a one on one, give a one on one about, you know, about what's going on at the moment. You know, other than that, you know. Like I said before, I don't do the TikTok dances. I I don't do the TikTok voiceover. I don't do you know and, and that shit. You know, even though I do a lot of <laughs> I, I do a lot of um I do a lot of reactions from those videos. Like you know, sometimes I look at the video and be like, you don't have nothing better to do. <laughs> you know but but that's where they to be honest with you that's that's where they getting their followers that's where they getting the likes from doing doing silly or simple shit like but uh but like i said yeah. I, I use it as a as as a cross promotion so but uh but yeah i mean i got i got a lot of people that i have talked to you know behind the scenes that does tiktok and everybody kept saying like you know you know the 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 people on TikTok says that they work hard and you know they they work hard and yada 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 and all like that. And I'm over here like it 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 really isn't no hard work. Just like you said, it only a minute video, a thirty second video, hell, a three minute video. It doesn't take that long to turn on the camera, talk yada yada yada, and and then boom, put it up. And and just let TikTok push, you know, let the algorithm push you, you know, and especially if you get yeah. there in the beginning, if you if you got there in the beginning, then, yeah, TikTok is going to is going to push you because it, that's what it does. But eventually you're going to get stagnant. You know, I mean, a lot of people put more emphasis on youtube like they be like well tiktok is is this right here but youtube is still the man so you will want you will want to continue to be on youtube then putting all your apples over in tiktok do you agree with that yeah that's true because it looks like a lot of people who were on YouTube or going to TikTok, I think they kind of just go wherever they feel is more popular at the moment. Mm -hmm. And they'll be back over to YouTube in a way too. Because right now, TikTok is hidden because with COVID and everything, it was easy to go and make a lot of TikTok videos because it's easy. People are just sitting there watching videos. So it's a lot easier. And with YouTube too, like some people kind of got the following too. When COVID was happening, it was easier to make those videos and make some quick money. 
which I do think makes sense now, and I was really think about it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but right. but they, but this like this this like the old saying, they will all come <laughs> back. They will y'all all come back to YouTube. Back. Yeah, y'all y'all have y'all have y'all have y'all, have y'all, have y'all little have y'all little fun on on TikTok, but y'all will always come back. <laughs> are you? Are yeah, you, be back over there. Are you are you monetized on YouTube? You you are monetized, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, I got monetized. I think last year, I just haven't really been giving YouTube my all. It's been mm-hmm. so busy with work. It's kind of hard to make videos for every single platform. Mm-hmm. It's hard sometimes when you're trying to maintain each platform all at once. Right. That's where the hard part comes in. But when your main focus is on one platform, then I would say it's a lot easier. That way, I'm not saying it's easy, but it's easier. You know, I I record for YouTube, so basically what I do, mm-hmm. I I do the recording. I take about a, you know, I'm I'm not sure how you doing it, or you probably just doing it by the phone. Mm-hmm. Of, of course, I got a computer; it's a lot easier. Uh, basically, what I just do as as I'm editing my editing my video for YouTube, I just take that one minute clip, mm-hmm. you know, that one or two minute clip out of out of what I'm editing. And then just put that and just upload that to, you know, uh, Instagram Reels TikTok. and TikTok. So that's that's how I do. It. Yeah, that's good. That's yeah, that's good. It. All right. So TikTok. Yeah, so 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 TikTok, Instagram, YouTube. I mean, you know, you 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 trying to fire on all cylinders and a lady truck driver. Um, what how yeah. how has it how has it been out here for you for the last four years? I mean, you know, you sassy, you know what I'm saying. You you step out the truck as a, as a, as a five foot as a as a five foot nothing. You got <laughs> you 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 got guys. You know, you got guys peeping you out not only on your on your social media, but you got guys peeping you out while you you know doing your thing at the at the truck stops and at the at the shippers receivers and all like that. How, right. how how do you handle how how number one how do you handle the attention and number two how do you protect yourself from negative attention? How do I handle the attention? I try to handle it the best way I can. I mean, nothing really changed. I just know that, like right now, like I can't go well here and there. Every now and then, I might see some someone might see me from social media and be like, "Hey, you're a sassy trucker." And they ask me to take a picture or whatever the case is. So mm-hmm. that's pretty much how I kind of handle things like that. But as far as the negative attention, I kind of just, you know, take it for, for what it is and just keep going and keep pushing for them doing something right. Mm-hmm. So I just keep pushing. All right. Yeah. That's what's up. That's what's up. Now, let's talk about this car hauling thing, man. I mean... You you, okay. you 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 did a you did a you know a pre a prelim video hauling motherfucking like million dollar cars, man. First day first. Yeah. How did you? How did you? How did you come across? How how did you come across the position? Well, long story. But to make a long story short, mm-hmm. um, I actually started out doing open for a few like a week or so whatever Mm -hmm. and so i guess the guy he thought i couldn't really do the job whatever like he didn't basically come on for sure and he gave me a chance i was new to this Mm -hmm. and so anyways i was like you know what i feel like people don't want to help me so i'm gonna go ahead and go back to driving that's what ended up happening Mm -hmm. and so when i made that video on youtube with the open cars doing the open car hauling Actually, a few people, companies start reaching out to me and offering me positions. And so it was for positions like enclosed and open. I was like, oh, wow, this is amazing. So for how I got this job, the boss actually reached out to me and asked me if he wanted to come to enclosed. He said, have you ever done enclosed car hauling? Mm-hmm. I said, no, I haven't done that before. Yeah. He was like, oh, I said, I don't have any training in that. He said, well, I can, he was like, well, we can train you over here. I said, okay, then he's like, how much experience do you have, this and that. I said, well, how for your experience, and this and that. So that's how I got this position, and that's why I started hauling enclosed cars and hauling the million-dollar cars and wow. working with different people. 
and ever since then I enjoyed it and I loved it. And so when I first did my first load, we actually hauled for this famous boxer called Javar K. Davis. Mm -hmm. We actually hauled five of his cars over in Baltimore, Maryland. And so we done that and we came back and they hauled for a lot of celebrities. And I thought, this is pretty cool. So I actually like this job because not only that, you get to. And I feel like, you know what? Wait, wait, wait. You get what? You get tips. You you get what? The tips can range from the lowest tip I got here was fifty dollars. The highest tip I got was two hundred dollars. You just from you, one car. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. You you mean to tell me these celebrities <laughs> that that you guys hauling for they they at they tip you? What? Well, I wouldn't say that the the celebrities would tip you, but the managers they might tip you. Or, you know, the actual person, not just celebrities that we haul. We haul for oh, okay. people, you know, who got a little money or whatever. Here and there, they'll give us tips. Here and there. Not all the time. I might get a tip. Sometimes I might not get a tip. There are some celebrities who's not going to tip you at all. They're not going to so give you So you, 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 you put yourself in the place of not inspecting it. And just when you get it, it'd just be a, 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 a pleasant surprise. A blessing. Because I didn't even know that you're supposed to get tips. And so my mm-hmm. boss, he said, hey, did you get tips today? I'd be like, no. I was like, no. He was like, really? I was like, no. Then when I finally got my first big tip, while well, I thought it was something to get mm-hmm. $200 tip just, you know, for nothing, basically. Um, I wasn't expecting that. And so he was like, hey, he said, you can get up to $200 tips here just off of one delivery. Wow. And so I was like, if I make nine deliveries, you times that. That's almost like a, a, that's almost like somebody's pay right there. So it's like that's not bad because I can pocket the money that I make from my actual paycheck and just spend the tip. There you and go. And so I'm like, you know what? This is not bad. This is like an easy time up. This this ain't so bad like, I, at all, That's man. what I was like. Yes, man. I was like, you know what? I love it, man. So I so I've the, seen I, yeah. I I've seen your little butt climbing up and down, getting in and out. How now for a person of your size, it's easy to, to to get in and out of those cars now, right? Yeah, it's easy to get in and out of there. But when I first did it, I didn't know how to get in because certain certain cars have white seats, and you don't want to mess up those seats. So I take off my shoes and I just climb right inside. But the first time I did it, I didn't even know how to get in there. I was like, "How do you guys get in here? Like right. how?" It was like, oh, you jump, lift your arms up. So it does require a lot of arm work. Yeah. So it's so, it, a good yeah, workout. Yeah, you, you guys, are, are you guys able to, especially the cars that's like on the top, on the top rack, uh, right. as far as the, like, uh, and I'm not talking about the enclosed, but I'm talking about open, on the top rack, it's, it's, are you able to open the doors or you can't open the doors or you shouldn't open the doors? You can open the doors when you, that's how you get in. You gotta open the doors to get inside the car, mm-hmm. but you gotta do it very cautiously because the doors can hit like the railing or something mm-hmm. and cause damage. Now, now let's let's talk about the damage part of the vehicle. Well, first thing first, let's talk about the let's talk about the pay. So, do you get paid per delivery, or do you get paid per car, or do you get paid per? Uh, uh, per mile or is it all included well i get paid per trip so let's say for example i take one trip from let's say florida let's say to texas and back that's mm-hmm. considered one trip and if i do that trip within i could do a, probably about two trips in one week depending mm-hmm. on the flow of things mm-hmm. or one trip per week so we get paid per trip so when you go back and come back down that's a trip go back up that's a trip so as soon as i do that trip i get paid i don't have to wait like a week to get paid or two weeks to get paid what? they pay you right away wow okay uh yeah without, oh, like, without going a blessing without going into detail of how much you get paid what what is the average pay per trip ballpark the average pay per trip um honestly i don't know because it can vary sometimes i mean i'm new to this so i very new so honestly i'm not even sure i know that people who've been doing this for a while get paid way more than me but i heard they get paid pretty good so i can't really say because i don't really know an average 
from that rich, I'm about to play All right. Now, now, now let's talk about damage. Like, you know, there's, there's, there's a different type of damage. I'm, I'm going to assume there's road damage, like, you know, rocks flying up off the, off the ground that can hit the cars, scratch cars or whatever. And then there's the actual damage that the driver can cause. Like he can actually drive the motherfucker off the rack or, you right. know, miss the, you know, miss the, miss the thing and get stuck or whatever. What, as far as, as the driver damage that's going to be his fault and his responsibility but what about the road damage do you, do you guys get hit with that too well to see the thing is with when enclosed the cars are inside so you mm -hmm. can't you don't really worry about road damage mm -hmm. but with open with that rocks will hit the car so that's going to be expected with, with hauling open cars in the open so since i do enclose a lot of our cars are high end so we pretty much don't have to go through that the only thing we have to worry about is if we like scratch a car or mm -hmm. possibly damage the car coming off the rack like you were saying things like that or hitting the roof of the car when putting the railings down to lower the rails that's mm -hmm. the only thing we worry about as okay. far as damage but pretty much you don't worry about that with enclosed Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. Now, yeah. with, with your with your experience in flatbed, uh, with securement and everything, you you think you think your experience in flatbed helped you out with your with with, with securing the cars? Yes, that's what I got. In, that's pretty much why I got into it because uh, when I did flatbed, we had to do a lot of strapping and with car hauling, we had to strap the wheels. So that kind of gave me an idea of what I would be doing when hauling the cars and how to secure the cars. So yeah, that did give me some experience. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. Man, uh sassy trucker. I mean you 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 within your four years, Jack of all Trizzy over here, man. I, I gotta give it to you. Yes. I, I gotta <laughs> give it to you. And I and I and I honestly thank you for being a, a friend of the show, man. I mean, I know I could I know I You're could welcome. just reach out, I could just reach out to you and just say, Hey, you know, let's let's uh let's do something together. And you 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 is definitely one hundred with me, man. And I I really do appreciate that. You're welcome, no problem. All right, so sassy trucker. What? 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 I mean, what? What else there for you, man? What? What else? Like, what? What else? What? What else? We? What other goals we got going, man? I mean, what's up? Well, other goals that we got going on. Well, pretty much. I know you see my CNN article. How I was on CNN and um. Things like that. So pretty much right now, I'm just taking everything one step at a time. But one of my goals is to own a fleet of trucks or possibly open up my own trucking school for truck drivers soon in the future. That's what's up, man. That's what's up, Sassy. Sassy, are you uh, you know, for for the for the for the truckers out here, are are you uh, are you still are are what's your status right now? Are you you single, married? What's up? I'm single. I'm single now. Yep. Single, raised, and mingle. <laughs> would you, would, would you, again, I know I asked you this question in the past, but would you, would you, would you give a, a truck driver a chance with you or, or you, you, I yeah, think, oh, definitely. Okay. okay yeah, yes. yeah. You hear Not that? Me. You hear that? Hey, guys, don't be creepy. Don't, 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 don't do that. <laughs> don't be creepy to this lady. You know, she's fine. As yeah, truck, I don't think I say head in their shoulders. <laughs> a lot of truckers think I'm stuck up. So I'm like, I'm not stuck up. So you guys don't have to think that I'm stuck up because I'm not. I'm very laid back and chill, lively, bold, and full of spirit. That's why they call me sassy. I mean, so, yeah. I, I mean, you, you, say, you, you say shoot your shot. The only thing you can say is, is, is no thank you. That's about it, right? <laughs> yeah. That's about it, man. All right, well, Sassy, thank you for your time, man. I really do appreciate it, you know, this beautiful Sunday. Where are you? I'm right now. I am in Miami, Florida. As of right now, I'm just chilling. Just got off from work. Miami, <laughs> Miami Florida. 
in the yeah. in the day county. No, I'm just kidding. I was about to go into my I was about to go into my first forty eight. Never mind. <laughs> you know I talked to uh, Okay, nice. I you know I talked to uh I talked to uh I talked to uh Pamela Baby uh a while back. Um I had okay. her I had her on the show and she's from Miami, Florida. And you know, we was we when we was talking, she said that Miami has the highest uh has the highest murder rate. And I told her, I was like, No, I thought it was Cleveland. She was like, Nah, it's Miami. So definitely while you down there in Miami, Florida, man, make sure you stay safe and all like that. Okay. And um again, like I said, we'll 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 touch base uh later down the line, man. Well maybe next time all right. maybe maybe next time we we'll we'll touch base when you get that school. But like, yeah, sassy trucker schooling. <laughs> Okay, nice. All right. Thanks for having me again. Uh, as always, appreciate as always, it's a pleasure. Thanks for coming on. I really do appreciate it. You're welcome. All right, you take it okay. easy, get some rest, and enjoy yourself. All right, you too. Now there are delays at every handoff point, and there's a short supply of people to take the products from point A to point B. I got to drive left hours a day, then pull over and only sleep for about eight to 10 hours if possible. Tier Allen has been a truck driver for the last four years, and she says she's busier than ever because there's also a shortage of drivers thanks to the pandemic. Less people are driving because they're not getting paid what they're supposed to. She used to spend about three weeks at a time on the road, but due to the driver shortage and increased demand, now it's more like one to two months.